Uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's um, Wednesday, March uh, 13th, uh, 9 15, 9 in room 119, Darien Town Hall. And I just want to call the meeting of the Darien Beautification Commission um, to order. Uh, looks like we have a quorum. Uh, so um, let's get started. All right, great. Uh, let's. Um, has everybody had a chance to review the minutes from the last meeting? And does anybody have any comments, questions, amendments, changes? Anything? No. Uh, I don't think we need to review them from last month, do we? Yeah. I don't think so. I think we're good. All right, terrific. Great. So, does anybody want to uh, make a motion to approve those? Yeah. All right. Great. Elizabeth? Alicia? Great. Thank you, everybody. All right, moving on. Um, Treasurer's report. Good morning, Tracy. Good morning. I don't know what the best view for you is, but there's everybody. Hi, <laughs> Hi Tracy. Hi, Tracy. <laughs> Hi, Tracy. Morning. Morning. Anyway, there were no transactions this, this month, so I didn't do a treasurer's report. So I'm sorry. I, I will, just so we have one. Um, you know, showing, showing the same balances. Okay. All right. Not a problem. And, uh... That sounds good. And then as far as discussing allocation of this, this year's budget, there are no changes. Maybe we can um, talk about some other things and come back to that, perhaps. Um, let's move on. We just have someone walk to the room. Hi, okay, thank hi. you for joining us. Thank you. Penny Wilson. I'm on the Park and Rec Committee on the RTM. So. Great. Yeah, so I just Thanks for to joining us. That's great. Thanks yeah. for joining us, Penny. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Penny, can you call uh, your last name one time? Sure. Wilson. Wilson. Yeah. Great. From the Parks and Rec RTF. Yes. Tracy, there's some feedback. Do you mind putting yourself on mute? Thank you. Sorry about that. Yeah, me too. Maybe it's not from you. Yes. Maybe it's from. Is Linda still on? Linda's muted. Hold on, there's another one from your phone, Tracy. It's showing you're not muted. And it looks like you have two open. One of them's muted. The one with your face is not muted. Do you have your phone and your laptop open? I just my laptop. She must have dialed in via the phone, not Wi Fi. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. you, it offers you both options. You can uh -huh. mute her, can't you? Yeah, maybe. Uh, yeah. Okay. I was at a rock this night. were like, what? Okay, great. We've got you muted. Tracy, just wave if, or take <laughs> yourself <laughs> off mute. Can you hear us? Okay, great. Okay, great. All right, perfect. All right, sorry about that. All right. So um, let's just do a quick uh, update on Instagram, website, and email. I'll just start. Um, I have been checking our emails as soon as Alicia put out the information about our open position. We got some interest from somebody. Um, she asked for conversation. I gave her my number. Um, then I was quiet for a while. I followed back up, and she had a few more questions yesterday, so I answered those as far as amount of time spent and that sort of thing. So we have that. Um, we also, let's see, did we get any other emails? Yes, we got an email regarding um, one of our gardens, and it's the the peep, the garden um, at Old Kings Highway and Locust, and they were curious as to whether they could continue with that. Mm. And I said I would, as soon as we had the information, we would reach out to them. So that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Alicia, you did some... Instagram? Yes, I just really the only thing is posting that open position. I had written on it to either email us or DM. There were no DMs of expressing interest. So okay. that's my only update. Thank you. Maybe what I'll do is we could take it and share it on our pages. Yeah. Can you make it shareable? Yes. And then I'm happy to share too. Okay. Great. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. We can like, put it across our stories. Sure, sure absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Um, Email, I mean, uh, website. We had talked about doing something there, but we haven't really. We did, and I have done absolutely nothing since I seen you. I apologize. That's fine. We've had, That's like, fine. we've had emergency appendectomies. Oh. Ooh. Yes. I mean, can you oh. believe it? We've had COVID. We, I mean, we've oh. had, like, a slew of things since I've seen you last. Wow. Wow. But the good news is. All right. 
we are we seem to be breathing good. normally yes, in the household that's again. Good. That is good. The, the littles are back on track, I hope. Okay. Yes. All right. And the website is fine. Um, yes, but I, I but um, if there's something that needs to be done now, I will focus. One good thing may to be update um, current members and the new term dates since I think a few of us renewed that. Mm -hmm. Melissa, can I put you in charge of that? Of course you can. Okay, so I agree. Um, I haven't checked it since, oh, Jackie resigned. Did you know that? I did yeah. not know yeah. that. Okay. As well so, as posting an opening on there more prominently. You know, I don't know if it's like the graphic I put up, but something else like more boldly, like currently have one open position. Yep. Um, so, um, this is a technical question. How do I edit the website? Yeah, no, it's actually, um, you don't. As right now, you reach out to uh, Linda O'Leary, and Linda she can help with that. And Great. I can share that information with you. Perfect. I'm going to just make myself a note, and so I'm going to... Um, I, I would, if I could suggest, I would say go to the website, yeah. take a look at it, yeah. think of creatively how you'd like it to look or what it should mm -hmm. be updated with, mm -hmm. and then... Um, and then we can reach out to Lynn and see what can be done. Great. Perfect. I will get on that this, this month. Awesome. Thank you. And real quick, my yeah. computer was slow to start up. Um, <clears throat> the garden at Locust and? Um, Locust and Old Kings Highway South. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Where? I'm having trouble picturing Locust. Mm. It's right across from uh, the Tokenique School. It's, isn't that the one that you're That's No, the no. It's the one that is near Corbin Project, but just... Oh, all okay. the new under the with yes. all the new plantings, gotcha. the ones who had put some mm -hmm. effort into okay. it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Um, that one. Uh, okay. Weeding and pruning. Anything update there? No. no I, I, it's, it's not the time of year for that. But no, yeah. I was thinking um, because I went by the berm the other day and all those invasive, you know, scraggles, <laughs> they're all brown now and like really standing out. So I was thinking. In the next week or two, I'm going to go over there. I think it would be the time to really, really be able to pull those out. So I'm going to oh, go over there and also do the butterfly garden as well. Wow. Like in the next week or two. I'm happy to join you. All right, thanks. And I'll, I'll uh, talk to Ed and tell him in advance so that he can then have the guys come and pick all that up. Okay. But I think it will be very, um, like it will feel good. <laughs> Yeah, because you can just get them now that they're yeah. all dry out. Mm -hmm. Do you do you need help? Like, do would you need elder like extra man pair power? Do you know how much it is? I don't know. Like, we'll okay. go over there and we'll just kind of see. And okay. then if it's so overwhelming, and then let us know then too. We'll ask. And then we can also maybe all meet. And, okay. Uh, okay. All right. Thanks. Or yeah, that's fine. Good help. Okay. Great. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, let's jump into adopt a garden. Uh, Alicia, you want to give an update on? Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, first, I reached out to Ed Gentile at Public Works a couple of days ago because we have those few locations where the curbs are mm -hmm. really decimated, like missing chunks, etc. And initially, it was something that was supposed to get done in the fall. It didn't. And then I was last told <clears throat> leading into the winter it would be April. So I wanted to check in with him as April's approaching, as well as us relaunching these programs. Um, I can get into this piece a little more, but you know, we basically estimated that it's depending on the garden location, it's going to be about either 1.5 thousand or 3,000 for a three-year sponsor term to adopt it. So it feels a little awkward presenting those locations. You know, asking someone to pay that amount of money, and yes, even if the garden is beautiful, the base. Mm. just first of all doesn't look good and also isn't secure so he said that the asphalt plants open in April I asked him to follow up with me by April 10th um, also related to that he shared that some that the Neuroten Heights train station garden the former commuter action group one mm -hmm. um, that plants had been approved to replant it and I asked who had approved the plans and I, he said the town and who was the other DRT. party yeah, an Eversource, but we never um, saw any of that, and so Sarah had then jumped into the email and shared, you know, that we had received money from Commuter Action Group, and it was a pollinator garden. I think some of you even, like, personally planted it. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, and Tracy and I did. And I'm not remembering specifically, but I thought I was remembering somebody saying that, telling somebody that we would get 
some say in that? It was when I, when Juliet had mm-hmm. brought this to yeah. our attention last summer when she drove by, when I met with Ed oh. in the fall, he had told me that it was this mistake and that they'd make it right. So, um, so yeah, so that was my understanding. Right, and I was in that meeting with you and I remember him saying those words will make it right. I don't know that other people approving it mm. and planting whatever is really making it right. And I, I do feel an obligation to both Jim Cameron and out of respect for yeah. the work Juliet put into it. Mm-hmm. So you followed up with him, we'll hear back, mm-hmm. but um, that wasn't even currently on our list of ones to, on our sponsorship list because it is in flux right now. Right. But um, so relatedly, that's another thing. And then Sarah and I met last week with um, Eastern Land Management, who's the person I've been working with on both the installation and ongoing maintenance of these gardens. So when we met last month, we all had some questions. Um, There were a lot of questions, but so I'll kind of go through them now. So we were able to cover all of it. And then on Monday, he sent us revised proposals. Um, reflecting those changes so the first area we discussed with him were was in the terms of financials so we had all agreed last meeting that you know if there were four gardens that were over three thousand dollars for plants which just seemed really high and also almost like a liability to I don't know give me anxiety to be responsible for yeah, so keeping everything alive so we yeah. told him that the maximum we would want for any location would be three thousand dollars so he did adjust four gardens to be below that. Um, we told him that we can be tax exempt, so he removed mm-hmm. the tax dollars from the proposals, which significantly cut down on the uh, amounts. Let's see, we discussed the quoted number of visits and frequency for pruning because in his maintenance quote, he also put in there that they would come weekly, you know, in the season, which I believe was like April to November. We felt that was high. Mm -hmm. So we changed it from 28 visits per year to 20. Um, We cut down some visits in July, August, and October, and November. We added dollars to the quotes to plant mums each fall. Um, he also added money to plant daffodil, bul- daffodil bulbs so that those would come up. Um, and somebody was correct. I, I don't know if it was you or Tracy who had said that vinca um, was something that would need to be replanted every year, and that is correct. It's, it, it would be pulled up, replaced with the mums. You know, then oh. those would be pulled, the daffodils would come up, and vinca would go in new every year. Oh, yeah, I didn't know that. Um, so that way there's constant seasonal color. Um, he also, you know, I'll get to the holiday piece a little bit later. Um, we asked him about, in, in, in the maintenance quote, accounting for gardens being sponsored on a rolling basis because the number he gave us was a lump sum where, you know, out of the gate, we're not gonna have 16 adopted. Um, mm-hmm. So he broke kind of those numbers down for us so that we'll be able to prorate that. In terms of watering, um, they charge about $110 per hour for watering, and that's for both the water, the truck, and the labor. Mm-hmm. And he said, you know, they're at each garden, depending on the size, 10 to 15 minutes. And again, mm-hmm. depending on the weather, two to three times per week. Mm-hmm. We were missing a quote for the garden at exit 11, which is the. Um, Roadway Island as you're exiting 11 and like you'd be facing Whole Foods. Right. So he provided that to us. Um, in terms of plantings, we asked him about adding some different colors or plants in each garden to di- differentiate each location. If you remember, everything was predominantly pink and white. Mm-hmm. So we talked about things in the Echinacea family, like the Black Eyed Susans, okay. cone flowers, and he was adding those in. He did confirm that all the plants he chose were low maintenance and also required low watering. There are natives in there, which also helps with the longevity. Mm-hmm. Um, we ensured that there would be long bloom, bloom times on those proposed plantings. Um, back to what I mentioned a minute ago about adding holiday decor to some of the locations. And I can't remember offhand, but he mentioned some things that he does in Stanford because he oversees their downtown special services program, which is like this, except it's funded by their Chamber of Commerce. Um, You know, in larger locations, he puts up a Christmas tree on a stand with lights, which would be, you know, 
Very fancy. Um, that would be so fun. Wait, right? so that true. exit? Yeah. He had some great I mean, ideas, yeah. and he fun. does some major projects. Um, I'm so excited that we have him on board. No, this is really that exciting. Great, like, right in that exit, like put a yeah. beautiful Christmas yeah. tree right there. Yeah, I yeah. We can that. really yeah. once we get this so launched and going and and like in place, we can get creative with him. It's gonna be fun. I love yeah, that. Yeah, it's gonna be really fun. Another mm -hmm. thing he does in the fall in Stanford is, you know, we could do it at our four Welcome to Darien signs as he attaches corn husks to the side. Mm -hmm. um, so again, with some of these gold locations, they could include something like that. Mm -hmm. um, we made sure that they are, the plantings were all deer, resistance, deer resistant. Mm -hmm. uh, we discuss which shrubs and plants are staying. Basically nothing is staying. Um, the ornamental mm -hmm. grasses by the exit 11, I don't want to botch my directions. When you are getting off and you're facing Sokeri um, and Shake Shack, would that so, be coming oh, from the yes. south? If you're on the, coming from the south, yep. Yes. Okay. And those big grasses. Yeah, there. they actually, and I, then I took, a no, took notice this week and they are really nice paw prints there's some things in there that can stay mm -hmm. um and so then we asked can the dbc or public works take any excavated pants he said yes um they're happy to drop them off in, you know in a central location for instance i don't you know in the parking lot here the key is that they would need to be replanted really quickly and then once they're replanted they it would water. be a lot of manual labor they would need to be watered you know to really like get them going mm -hmm. um so what if we want to do that what we would need to do is pre-tag what we would want to keep and have dropped off can you would okay. you take tracy off me because i yes. feel like we had a conversation about this about some trees out front tracy we want to take you off mute um, tracy hi hi guys so i we had a conversation when we were out weeding over here on the hill about possibly putting some plants around a tree out there i don't remember exactly what we discussed as far as plants go do you remember i'm sorry I repeat that so by the trees out front of town hall um we had talked about taking some plants out and putting some plants around some of the trees and possibly putting a bench under there, moving some of the benches from Mather over under the tree. Would that be a possibility to save any of those plants or what do you think? Um, I'm drawing a blank at the moment and I don't have all my stuff with me. Okay. But I'm back on Saturday now. Okay, I'll send you a picture of the tree that, we're okay. that we were talking about. Um, regarding plants, the last thing we asked him is if we could install gardens <clears throat> July through August if they become sponsors, sponsored or would we need to wait until September? His answer was, his answer was yes, however the issue is plant availability at that time and also the amount of watering that would be needed, you know, putting new things in at that time. Um, like Sarah mentioned, he had a ton of creative holiday ideas. One of them that was interesting that he does in Stanford, they um, do holiday hanging baskets. Um, I know that the chamber here does the green roping up the poles, but could be nice to do in a few locations. Um, they also are responsible. I don't know if anybody's been by the new Canaan Library, the new location recently. They did all of that landscaping out oh front, gorgeous. which I have seen mm. it, and it is really, it's stunning, it's current. And they did it like that. Yeah, it was, I think they're wrapping it up now, but yeah, it really did go in quickly. So mm -hmm. they have a ton of experience, you know, it's a large company. Martin, who we've been working with, would be our point person. Um, so that's that's pretty much it from the meeting. Anything else you want to add? The only thing I would add was that he he was mentioning different places where he works. New Canaan Library came up, Merritt Seven, those buildings, King School, um, Norwalk Community College, downtown Stanford. They've got some really big projects. Yeah, and they're so they're have very, they really know how to do this. They have a lot of experience. So I, I love it, that. Yeah, it's great. It's really great. And he, he knows what he's talking about. So I did get a even more confidence from having a meeting with him. 
And he, he did sandwich Sarah forwarded on yesterday the new proposals, which need to be gone through because it's good that they're very granular, but it's a lot of numbers and data. And I, I don't want to botch the financials with, you know, something as simple as a typo. And then we realize we're on the hook for some of this money. Mm -hmm. um, I think the key is, and one idea I was thinking about, I know, Sarah, you looked into the sponsor me signs to kind of like get people noticing what's going to be happening. Mm -hmm. Another thing I was th that came to my head yesterday was if we spent our money installing kind of a model garden for people to oh. see, because again, I love that. thinking yeah, of the conditions idea. of some yeah. of the curbing, and if you drove by again and saw the sponsor new mm -hmm. sign, and you know, if you didn't really understand the full vision, mm -hmm. I think it's ha a harder sell to um, yeah. you know ask someone to give you thousands of dollars and. And plus, no one's used to these gardens having, you know, constant seasonal interest. Right. It's not just that you get some flowers for May mm -hmm. through August and that's it. Mm -hmm. So it really is a whole different thing, mm -hmm. which is kind of a segue into this script Sarah put together. And Martin had mentioned he could do some <coughs> renderings for us. I think in whatever print material or marketing material we have, that could be useful. Um, just which to give it in what you're thinking about. I'm sorry. I don't yeah. know. I was when it came to my mind. I was thinking probably something along the post road mm -hmm. that's not hidden and that's kind of traveled by everybody's on the post right. road. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'd have to think of of what's along there. Um, you know, something by a stop sign or stoplight. Mm -hmm. Well, here's an idea. Since we know David Genovese is willing to do one of those gardens, and we know exactly which garden it is, yeah, we can just do his. We could start with that one. Yeah. Yeah. That's so that's that one's basic. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Right, that, and maybe I mean, in the interim of the program, you know, he could pay since he, so ELM manages a lot of the um, Baywater properties as well, so he could probably potentially just fund the watering of that, um, but yeah, that would be a good one. Mm -hmm. Where is that one going to be? That is the little triangle that it is um, the highway exit the hi then, yeah. when you're facing Whole Foods. How do you oh, describe okay. that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah when you come good. off, yeah. when you're going southbound and you exit, mm -hmm. and you're facing the sports shop and Whole Foods and Corbin Projects on your right. Okay. That's a perfect one because there's so many vehicles that yeah. pass that area. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, maybe the only idea. con of it would be that it's a larger one versus a little tidy one like near water and like hose. Water and but hose. I agree, yeah. that's one that we already have kind of like a connection to potential sponsorship. Yeah. Um, do you want to run with that? Or I'll how do you do it since you've okay. spoken to David okay. about it? Okay, great. Do we want to put um, something together to put out on our Instagram about this? We yes, and then way more than that. I think you know yeah. even when this was the last iteration of this, which I think was twenty sixteen, there was for the time like even though that was only seven years ago, but a pretty impressive brochure. I think we need to actually versus just verbally again because of the dollar commitment, like show people mm -hmm. what we're doing, mm -hmm. like bullet points, rendering. Mm -hmm. um, I think we definitely need to print something. We need to show them their catalog of you know, yeah, options. So I don't want it to just seem so um, nebulous. Like, oh, we have this pro. I think it needs to be much more than just verbal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a great segue into <clears throat> item number six point B, <laughs> <laughs> which is uh, our next steps. Um, since we have a little bit more work to do in hashing out the um, proposals that he sent and the pricing and all that, we're not ready to to actually put a dollar number on things. But as soon as we are, it'd be nice if we had everything else sorted out so that we could really get going. So I sent last week, I don't know if anybody reviewed it, but I sent a draft script that we could all use for when we are starting to make calls. Yep. That's what we're yeah. And... I thought we could go through that, mm -hmm. uh, and we should also hash out exactly what we were just saying. What else do we need to have to accompany this? Renderings would be amazing, um, and they should probably go inside of a brochure or some little. Do we have like Darien, um, blue Darien town? 
folders that are lovely. Mm, I don't know. Yeah. I've I mean, seen those for anything. So I'm leaving. When I leave here, I'm going into the town hall to pay some things. Maybe I can ask around. Okay. Yeah. What do you mean, like a like, like a folio, fold, like yeah, a like folder, folio yeah. so that we can like slip in some lovely renderings, right? And, like and hand off. Like that's a good idea. Darianne, with you know beautification information inside. Yeah. Why don't you take a look? If not, we can get something made. Yeah. yeah. Or um, spiral, uh, spiral bind. Uh, yeah. Everything. Yeah. Um, I love it. So this is this is. Um, does anybody have marketing experience like how, what like what we should provide? Mm -hmm. So we should really then outline what what we want and and who's going to do it <laughs> and who's going to run with it and get it either created or get it photocopied or any of that stuff. Um, so that we really can get it just done. Like I feel like it's almost time to start making the sponsor me signs and Where start the making these photos. Renderings are going to come from Martin, right? Yeah. Okay. And what and what do we have an estimated time of arrival on the renderings? I would think whenever we ask him for it, he could give it to us within a week. Mm -hmm. Should we do that now? Yeah, I think that's going to be our quickest piece of all of this. You know, if, if we need renderings, if we need professional, first of all, materials to be put together by us, then professionally printed. Um, and I know when we met last time, we're running about three months behind. Mm -hmm. This is going to take kind of like an all hands on deck, I think, approach, or we're going to potentially be sitting here in a month and not much has changed. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Okay. There so should be no reason that we all, I mean, we all can't take one piece of this and totally. get this done by next meeting, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Alicia, do you want to be in charge of getting Martin, the renderings from yeah. Martin? Uh, Melissa, do you want to be in charge of? Like Our, a folio? Yeah, a yes. folio. Like, however it's delivered. Yes. But so I actually, of, Alicia, if it's okay with you, I think that to go into, like, a spiralized notebook is too many steps. I think what we need are, like, lovely, mm -hmm. glossy, or not glossy, mm -hmm. navy blue, Darien printed by folders that mm -hmm. we can, like, tuck in. Something like this, but nicer. Something like that, but, but nicer. nicer. Yeah. So it's like Darien, and maybe I can even get Darien Beautification Commission. In we Boston. have our logo. We, we have our logo. We just have stickers made. And okay. you know, some of those, some of those folders have like the three holes in them, yeah. and like the you know the right. little metal doodad. Right. So we could, yeah. if, the, if the goal is to kind of keep things in order, we could just yep. three hole punch them, slide so them let in. Me, let me yeah. get those done, and I can okay. get them embossed. We also should get a sign rendering. I'm sorry, did you want me to have so a see or what kind of sticker put on it? No. You know, they're getting yeah. sticker. Right. Sticker fine. Fine. So just go and get the beautiful. I mean, I honestly think you could go to Amazon and buy the yes. paper blue ones. I'll I do don't it. think Town Hall's going to provide it. So I think if you go Amazon, buy some okay. blue and need, like, paper. 20. Yeah, probably. Well, more than that. No, probably. I'd say 50. Yeah, because we have 17 mm -hmm. gardens. We're going to have to be Got it. handing these out. And then we're gonna. The and then, do you have the not this sticker? I don't have this. But okay, I will but I will this. forward you the logo. And I will. And I will make stickers. And then, can you get stickers made? Absolutely. Okay. I'll figure and then that out. stickers will be made for that. And then all we need to not all, but then when we get data that's related to this, it goes in the folder. We can and compile it. In terms yeah. of quantity, I think it wouldn't go by gardens. It would go by. Um, like potential sponsors, how many are on that list? I know there's many. Oh my God, there was. But maybe for this, we want to target like the most likely. The big ones. So I would reference that for your quantity. Okay. Now, I, like, have to, I, I have to go back. Five or even a hundred, like three, three or four. If you have like the twenty-five percent acceptance rate, that's mm -hmm. pretty good. Well, listen, we can always get more because we can always use them for other things that yeah. we do. So it's yeah. not going to be like a right. I was just gonna pull up that list, um, but um, and then on the sign circling back, mm -hmm. um, did we ever finalize? Like, did somebody was gonna supposed to get the typeface that the town signs used? Did we get that? No, not yet, because I was just waiting to see yeah. like when we were gonna execute all of those. But I can do that. Okay, I can do that. Yeah, because I think that was the only missing one. Well, and then we wanted like I brought in the actual sign, yeah. but. I think that's a great idea to put it in the folder yeah. to see what it will look like. Yeah. 
again, because I think if someone was asking me to spend three thousand dollars, I'd want to know like, well, what? Where's my business gonna? What's yeah. that part gonna right. look like? Like, yes, the flowers and stuff will look nice, but what is the visibility to my sponsorship? There and needs to be a letter written from the DBC to the potential sponsor from someone here that has very eloquent writing skills. That right. sort of exists. It <clears throat> probably needs to be tweaked, but that does but exist. That's that first well, email that was sent. Before we launch into that, would you mind putting together a, a one-page sheet that will go in this document yeah, for the that will have the signs and that will that's you know tells them, dear sponsor, this is what your sign will look like. These are the two. These are the measurements that we're considering. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to need exactly the wording that you need. Please, you know, maybe you put a line like, please put your wording here, so they can put it in exactly. Let us know. Like, if they decide to sign, we want them to. Of course. So, and then give them measurements and give them a little. And it can just be a one page sheet with just all that information on it. And we can slip it in the folder. Yeah, and don't worry about financials because that can go with everything yeah. else. Because if someone's like, well, I want a bigger sign, but their garden's this big, mm -hmm. that can't happen. So we can put the dollar piece on another page. So we yeah. can use just, let's say, it's 16 by 20, or I can't even remember what. Um, it was like so long ago. That like was one of them, yeah. 16 by 20, and then I think the other one was 16 by 18. I have to look through my stuff here. Um, but just put it, just say if you have a silver or bronze level garden, you will probably have a sign that is the smaller size. Mm -hmm. And if you have a gold level garden, you will probably have a sign that is the other size. Okay. And yeah, I agree. Don't don't need to have the numbers. And you can even simple. put a one liner that says the cost of the sign is included with your garden sponsorship. Yes. That's all they need to know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and maybe caught maybe size of sign is um, you know aesthetically in ratio to the size of the garden. Yes, I like that. Right. So I like that. Like we're just being whatever. Yeah, yeah. Smaller yeah. Or larger, it's not right. favoritism. Something it's, like yeah. reference garden yeah. guide or garden catalog for. Yeah. I don't know. The term wording. Uh, correlating what. Correlating. What yes. <laughs> yeah. I, I know the way I said that was too confusing, but the point is it. Big signs don't go on the yeah. 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 yeah, exactly. But once the Genevieve V's garden goes in, then can he have like just one sign so then that whole garden is complete? So well, I think that's all still potential. Garden. My only, the other thing I'm just thinking about that garden is ease of watering it because you're on that busy highway mm -hmm. exit, you know, with like traffic yeah, forking off on either there. side. I know he's planning to run some system underground. That seems a mm -hmm. ways out. Mm -hmm. I'm just wondering if, if we could also consider us spending the money to plant it. I don't know. We'll have to see. That one, You're saying there could be one that's easier to water? I just, or size why I don't know. Oh. I'm not sure. Hmm. But like from today, if we said, all right, let's plant that, I mean, I don't think it, I'm not sure when the plants, I mean, I guess it would be planted May 1st, maybe-ish. I mean, that's still five weeks out. Mm. Yeah, but, yeah. And then we have, have to have, have everything things. ready for sponsor. The other nuance with that is mm -hmm. that's the one the garden club wanted to contribute a few hundred dollars to and have a second small sign, like, uh. contribution by the garden club. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. Maybe there's another garden that's high visibility that we could use it as an example instead. You know? Like, yeah. the one year splash? Or you think that's the one where you're always driving by? You yeah. Know, yeah. yeah, that one's also going to be hard to water. I guess, yeah, I mean, yeah. I don't know. I'm trying to think of post road locations offhand. What comes to mind is, is the one by the church, Henley, the beach. Hmm. Huh. There's the one that you, when you come down off a hollow tree and take a left onto, if you're headed towards Henley, is that one part of our garden? Yeah. That could be a good one because with, because like everybody. It also know, has a brand new finished curb. It does. Nice. But also, the yes. only one well, that got done. Not near water. You're talking about hollow tree and yes, post. Hollow tree, and hollow tree and post curb. Looks nice. Yeah. 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 But also, that one's nice because you get so many people coming maybe to the middle school. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like the hollow. Yeah, and you get people coming to the Y. To the Y. So it wouldn't just be like you're writing people seeing it in their neighborhood. Right. It would be people. There's a draw to that mm -hmm. area. Would we have the money to... It, at that location, let me look. <clears throat> that location is thirteen hundred dollars. 
I don't know if we'd have the money to. Sorry, which location are you talking about? That's um, the... It's Darien Garden One Post Road. It'd be thirteen hundred dollars. That's just to plant it. Yes, and mulch it, remove what's currently there. Yeah, I mean, the nice idea is that we can just send people to look at it, and it's got a nice curb, and it's contained and small, and it's on the post road, so it's easy to drive by. It's actually a lovely, lovely spot. I mean, I yeah. enjoy it every time I go yeah. to the um, to the Y. The, I just looked flipping through this. The mm -hmm. Locust Hill Old Kings Highway Garden is growing concern that if you want to make a note of Where's the Locust Hill? That for which, the, um, right under the little which underpass. Which garden is it? After, if you left the old post office, okay, and then you take a right, you go under the under. Oh place, yes, like right there. Yeah, yeah. That used to be some sort of something, didn't it? I don't know. Okay. Locust Hill number nine. But they started. I That's don't know. just the one someone mentioned at the beginning about Old Kings there. Highway and Locust Hill. It, it's the growing concern. Growing concern. They're doing a nice job of that. I think it was just like a, um, a lot of grass and a few flowers before. So I pulled up the email. He said it was Richard Jones Landscaping who had said that he had received. Mm -hmm. He has the one by Tokenique, so sorry I misspoke. Oh. Um, Richard Jones has the one by Tokenique. Please send me more info about the new program. I'd be it'd most likely be interested in continuing with that. Mm -hmm. um, has by the Tokenique School. By Tokenique School. Okay. Mm -hmm. He's interested in continuing with that. That's good. Yeah. Uh, so it's not Locust Hill and Old Kings Highway? Sorry, it's not Locust Hill and Old Kings Highway. I it's Old Farm Road and Tokenique. Mm -hmm. Old Farm Road and Tokenique. Yeah. Not Locust Hill. Mm -hmm. I also, just as an aside, when I was communicating with Ed Gentile, there were about I think three signs in Darien that had never been replaced. They just got missed off of their inventory of the new signs, marking, you know, whatever it is, a train, whatnot. He said they've all been ordered and they're here. They just need to put them in. Oh, good. So that's good. Thanks. Uh, okay, so in our folio, we have a page about the signs. Mm -hmm. We're going to have picture of the renderings. Mm -hmm. We will have a price sheet, which we're still working on. We have a letter of introduction. We will have a letter of introduction, which will be, which we can craft. Okay. We haven't crafted that. That needs to be crafted. And we also need to have, at the end, a response sheet. So we need to have a response sheet to which garden you want, what's your top selection, and where to send your information to. Do you mind putting that together? Not at all. You seem to have it all. I love it. You got it all. I love that idea. Thank you. That's amazing. Um, okay, I love it. So we've got, now we're building a nice packet. In there anywhere, um, what else do we need in there? We've got prices. We've got what it looks Garden like. Garden catalog. We've got, location catalog. Um, okay, so let's uh, make you a better list here. Okay, so... A location catalog. Yep. That's right. Nice. Intro letter. Um, Where should they send their request? To us directly? Uh, our email. To what? To, to our Jerry Education? Yeah. Yes. And also on there, probably we should give some payment instructions of how. So that point we need to figure out as well. So how do they pay? Do we know? Um, Tracy, maybe can you work with Melissa when it yeah, comes to I your will. question about filling that out of where the how and how to pay? All right, awesome. Thank you. I will make a note to call Tracy. Yeah. Um, okay. So in our little packet, let, sorry, I keep going through this, but we're gonna have an intro letter. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have the pricing. We're gonna have a location catalog. We're going to have a um, rendering. We're going to have a sheet on the signs. We're going to have where you send your request. Like the response sheet. Response. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Response sheet. Yeah. 
sheet I that think includes payment info could be on the response. I do too. It includes yeah. um sorry, what was that? Payment oh. info on the includes response. payment. So it's gonna info. include what garden you want, and I'm gonna have them give us three options, like in order because you know okay. whatever. The spelling of their signage, or is that gonna go on her sheet? That'll probably go on your sheet. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where to send the request and then the payment instructions. Or or it should or probably go on, it should go on your sheet because we just want one sheet. sheet. Yeah. It should go on your sheet. Smart. Yeah, agreed. Good call. With spelling. All right. Um, okay. Anything else that should go on our little packet? Can you just remember to send me the logo in a PDF, please? Yep. And we said we wanted white signs with navy blue. Oh, here I have it. Is that right? Or we want. Did we, did is we that what, did we say white and navy blue? Yeah, we white. did. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping white can stay white. I'm a little nervous about that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was thinking about that as well. And then looking at all these new signs in town, I'm assuming they're going to be taking care of them. Like, I don't know, giving them a rinse every once in a while. Like we could add our white ones onto that. Or if we've got ELM there, you know, 20 times a year, like, Maybe they could hose down the sun. Do something. <laughs> yeah. Because they are picking up trash and they are doing other things. Yeah. I mean they are maintaining these gardens. So, yeah. so maybe we just write that into the contract. Okay. Just yes, and good idea. Main make sure sign is maintained, including keeping it clean. Yeah, I mean if they're literally watering it. They're know. literally yeah. watering it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. Signs. yeah exactly. Yeah. They want it to be power washed. Okay. Because yeah. a white sign looks great if it's white. Yeah, nice. so white with does the navy so lettering, that. our logo at the top center, and then it would be just sponsored by, insert bottom. business name, because it will no longer say maintained by because we're paying for maintenance, it's not someone volunteering it. Right, okay. So it's, it's pretty simple, it's just sponsored by and then the name. So you could, I don't know, for, for the name could put in whatever, your okay. company. Okay, so I think I had gotten an estimate for 16 by 24 and then 12 by 16. Yes. The posts were 25 and then to the installation, we were just going to do everything. Yeah, I have all that. Don't worry about putting that on there. Okay. The other thing is, I think that when we print these pieces of paper out, they should be on like slightly nicer paper than this. So maybe if you guys want to forward me all of the data, I'll take it over to um, FedEx and I'll just pay for the slightly nicer paper. Yeah. I'm also thinking the sign rendering could be nice on the same page as the garden rendering because it kind of shows the full picture. I and money. <laughs> I, I know the program Martin's talking about using. I think he could even insert the sign rendering that you'd get from the sign oh, shop oh, into yeah. the garden, that like for a full mock-up. Yeah. Great. Because be awesome. the right. verbiage, the pricing for the sign and the dimensions are going to be on the pricing sheet, then that could just be like our, like almost page one, like visual page. And I think too much, mm. too yeah. many pieces. They don't need too many pieces. Right, right, right. It's overwhelming. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah, yeah. Agreed. Agreed. Great. So we can cut that one down. The sign, it will be cool. sign Just and a rendering page. Sign and render. yeah. So can we make a thing that you guys can send me all of this stuff, maybe like one week for our next meeting so that I can have time to take it over to, I was going to say Kinko's, but I don't think it exists anymore. Well, I think anymore. we should all proofread it. Oh, okay. And and then like, not it. that you're going to have yeah. typos, but just to make sure. So, so should we bring in everything here? We should review it and then I can take it to the printers? That means waiting a whole month. Yeah. Can't we, can't we just, we, can't when your right letter's now? done, just email it to the group? Yeah. We can all just prove it? And we'll just look at it. Yeah, email? I know for my piece, not to give everyone like details of my life, but I have both my son's birthdays this week, both of their birthday mm -hmm. parties. I'm out of town next week. Like my time is really limited. limited yeah. So I don't know how much I can commit to because yeah. the next week and a half, I'm kind of. I have no free Do you want time. me to reach out to Martin then and ask? No, because that's pretty quick. Okay. That's fine. I'm just okay. saying, I think this is a lot of stuff, and I think we're going to be spending a lot of money on it and distributing it. Um, mm -hmm. 
So we what's work. everyone else's realistic timeline? Well, so what what do you actually we still have, have a lot on your plate nights besides, up for? Well, what do you have on your on your the plate? pricing? Which is the timely because a timely he one. sends every garden separately, and then okay. uh, separate from that is the watering, which needs to be prorated out to each garden yeah, based on the, the amount and the maintenance. Same thing based on the size of the garden. So, okay. so that's, that's and I want to do that thoughtfully so that there's not some yeah. error. All right, well then, I mean, if, if it's best for the, we want to do it right. So like, yeah. let's not mm -hmm. rush it. So yeah. if it's realistic, but it's not happening until the middle of next month, then maybe we have everything else ready to go except for the pricing. Well, let's get names, I guess, on the rest of these things. And okay, then well, that I'm, person I'm, could say when they can. Okay, well, I'm doing, the, I'm doing the physical binders. I'm doing the payment information and response. Sheet. I'm doing the payment information and response sheet. And then I'll do the renderings, both with the garden renderings and then the information from Colleen for the sign rendering. I'll do the intro letter. And Sarah, you can reference um, in this old thing here, yeah. there's an intro letter in, in there exactly. a little bit. And we did that other letter. And I mean, I feel like yeah. I'm just going to pull it all the yeah, It's not a, not a problem. It's basically done. Uh, and then location so catalog, we basically have done already. That's yeah. the that's the geocode. I don't think the only thing is it just we just need to remove the locations with the bad curbing, the railroad. Um, we don't need to put the town hall planters in there, which he said he would do complimentary mm -hmm. seasonally for us. Just that's great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Meaning that I don't. I'm not going to do them. Wow. He's yeah, doing for free. Wonderful. Yeah. Wow, they'd water them, nice. they'd switch them out for spring, summer, fall, holiday. Um, wow. I'll do the pricing. I'm going to do it. <laughs> I, I can get the pricing. Ready to be done. <laughs> yeah, well, we have to hire him first. Probably get us some money. <laughs> I can have the pricing all complete probably April 1st, which is a little over two weeks from now. Um, I will tell you, I find that 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 location thing is incredibly confusing why can't we can we just like just put the addresses on them i think we need to list at least highlights of each location okay, okay. you're talking about the, the this one with the geocode yeah they don't have addresses because mm. they're not right, right. it's but that's why like we had the, the, map the map and the garden and the yeah. geocode okay. and and an intersection i mean yeah. It's about as close as we yeah, can get you're to right. giving all the you're information right. possible. You're right. You're right. So who's going to be like who's going to be in charge of the location now? Yeah, someone needs to edit this garden catalog. Uh the garden catalog is with oh the, the this one? The the using this Yeah, yeah to I can remove do that. ones that aren't going to be yeah. presented initially. And that will change like on this um pitch letter it says seventeen beds. Um, okay. That's going to change that. Great. I'll do that. So can I just read you guys what I have just to make sure we've got this right? Yes. yes. Okay. So we've got, um, we'll make a packet for potential sponsors, including the introduction letter, pricing, location catalog, garden and rendering, garden rendering and sign rendering information sheet, payment and response sheet. So five different pieces. Melissa will take care of making the folders, the actual folders, mm -hmm. and we'll take care of the payment information and response sheet. Mm -hmm. um, Colleen will take care of determining type. With help from Tracy on the payment yeah. process, because mm -hmm. I don't, perfect. she'll or someone's gonna have to determine or how are we collecting, when are we collecting, if it's a three-year sponsorship, what are we collecting year one? What are we collecting oh, year two? Process. Let me just write that down. So what happens if someone goes out of business? Perfect. Oh, okay. So I mean, Holly will take care of determining typeface and measurements for the, these are all great questions, for the signs so that potential sponsors are aware um, of what they can expect for, expect future signage to look like. Sarah will take care of the intro letter and location catalog. Mm -hmm. um, Alicia will take care of the pricing and compile uh, the information for garden rendering and sign rendering. Yes. Okay. Thank you. That's great. Uh, okay. Another thing, I think that's very helpful. We've done that. Another thing that I want to do is um, you have put together a list of companies that we're going to be calling. And actually, uh, ELM gave us a couple other suggestions too, which I should probably add to that list. 
we need to then start thinking about breaking up that list, who wants to call whom, mm -hmm. and also agreeing on our what we're going to say to them. So to make sure we're all saying the same message and that it's the right message, I put together this script. I mean, it is a little cringy, but it, it is what it is. Um, at least there's something written down. Do you guys want to run through this? Sure. And I have to go teach that class. But, okay. um, but I was planning on just walking into the store business instead of rather than calling them on the phone. Okay, yeah. Because Which I think we want to walk in with the materials, with the materials. not walk yes. in and then... With the material. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. yeah. Which is totally. I mean, I think I think it's going to take all sorts of different approaches. So I think that's. Yeah. I think in person is always the best, and when they have something to hold, that's yeah, great. exactly. So just give me if you're splitting them up, just give me whomever you want to give okay. me for. All right. Okay. I have to go too, Sarah. Okay. I'm sorry, but just you give me whoever you want. Okay. As well. And and, and did you guys review the the script? Yeah, I thought the script was good. You're I good with it. Too. Yeah. Good sure. Fine. Right. You had requested access, but I thought I had given you access. So, so here, I'm going to manage access again here. It and it's nice you own it, so that's why I'm confused. Okay, bye guys. So don't you worry, I'm going to... Um, it might have been because I had a Google and a non-Google. Um, it doesn't matter right now. Um, it doesn't, but I just want to let you know that I did make you an owner of the document. Okay, great. So, thank you. I mean, okay, great. Perfect. Um, do we need to run through this then? Are you guys, do you want to review it? I think we should. Yeah, okay. absolutely. All right. So, hi, so and so. This is Sarah Schwartz. I'm a volunteer for the Dairy and Beautification Commission. I'm reaching out as part as because our commission, as part of the Dairy Inn, is revitalizing the Adopt a Garden program. The Adopt a Gardens are we're going to do 15 beds. I'm not sure what it is. Okay, question mark. It's probably a lot less with those um, curb repairs removed. Okay, that are the property of the town of Dairy Inn. Okay, well, wait, well, can we stop for? I'm sorry to interrupt you, but um, if we don't know the number, should we put in there? Um, you know, we'll know it once, once, once we do it quickly. Okay. Yeah. But if, if we're, my only question is like, I mean, I don't think anyone's going to care, but if you say like, I thought there was only going to be 15 gardens and now there's 17 gardens, like you sold bait and switch. I mean, again, I don't see that happening, but should we say, you know, um, starting with 13, eventually getting up to 17. Yeah, or at this time we are, okay, yeah. we yeah. have just so X amount. Yeah. yeah, just cause I don't know. Again, we know we're going to max at 17. Um, Sarah, this can probably really almost like feed into your intro level letter a lot as yeah, well. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Just something about like, you know, a gr uh, we're going to gradually increase it, but max 17 gardens. Just so people okay. know that it's still like a scarcity thing. That's but, That was the idea. Like, this is not infinite. This is yeah. not just pick a plot of land in town. They, this is finite. There yeah. are yeah. max yeah. 17 beds. Right, but if you started to see more pop up, then you could think, oh no, so max 17. Well, right. right, our language like um, the adopted gardens are the, we have very limited location. We have, you know, fifth, whatever it is, 14 limited location something like that I like that okay and then the last line where it says you've probably driven past them a hundred times I would say like mo like Darien residents or something to kind of you know I don't know remind everyone how often all these eyeballs are on these sorry say that again you have probably driven past these a hundred times like other Darien residents yeah and instead of quantifying that I just say many okay then that's that innumerable many times okay great um, and then in the second paragraph where it says um, commercial landscaper who will replant and maintain all of these gardens um, maybe adding in like this, you know, zero effort required by you, something along those lines. Required by you. Okay. And then where it says pay a one-time fee, I would remove that since we don't know how we're going to structure this. Is I'm not sure if Tracy's still on, but will she be able to get back to us on exactly how this is going to work, like 
collecting money and when like in the next like week and a half or so? I, I, I don't know but um, so that's actually a good thing to talk about so my understanding because I remember having I don't remember who brought it up did you bring it somebody brought it to our attention no sorry <laughs> different 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 board different group um, that it's very hard when people give money to then co keep collecting it. Mm -hmm. You need to get it once. You need to get it once. So I actually put yeah, that well, in intentionally I agree with you. because you if you say it's a three-year program, you can structure it over three years. We're chasing people down. Their garden's mm -hmm. already installed. Their name's already on mm -hmm. the sign. Once. It's way yeah. harder. We're going to get that money up front or they're not getting that okay. In my opinion. I think, I think that's, that's right. right. Okay. It's the same with connecting money as a room parent. I mean, just yes. like on the basic level. Yes. If yes. you don't get it totally. up front, you don't get it's it for It's so a year. hard to, you get have to get it once the it's installed. Mm -hmm. So I actually, that was because of that. I felt like if it's a three year program, we're going to get your money. If you can't do the three year program, you don't have to give. And that totally money. eliminates that if they go out of business. Yeah. Right. Because, like, Right. They gave the money to think Some cost. Yeah. I agree. Um, I think three years will fly by, actually. I'm a little worried that three years isn't long enough because if we're going to have to keep repeating, repeating, asking. Anyway. Well, what we should hope for is that these people see a benefit and then they just, or that so our community that's is so lovely. That's a great point for, pros, for pricing. It's, it's like, option to renew because for renewals all you're paying is the maintenance you're not paying what most of this cost is is the initial installation however it's hard to project three years from now what labor costs will be in plants so right. I think we just say you'll have the option to renew but we wouldn't be able to quantify okay, that so then I'm going to add that to my little list of who should that be on this sales call though the option to renew no no it just really popped important. in my yeah. mind yeah. Oh, yeah okay i have a really random question this might be a horrific idea but um yeah, what if we would it make this easier if we just did five gardens and then next year did five gardens and then next year did five gardens so every year you had five coming up so it was never because this is it's this huge project and I don't know and again then you get into these economies of skill where maybe we're getting a discount by doing it all at once so maybe it's a terrible idea but I'm just saying because we will have we could have this whole like oh god we've got to find 17 more sponsors in three years whereas every year if you're just trying to find five well we had kind of projected that probably five would likely get sponsored <laughs> in this initial right push. yeah right and then since it's not at cost to us, the ones that aren't sponsored will just sit there looking like they do now. Perfect. So <laughs> yeah, what yeah. you're saying is basically what will probably happen in reality. Brilliant. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I do agree. I mean, if they all get sponsored, I think I'd like that. Yeah. Um, but I think the reality is they probably won't, and this will organically kind of happen. So gotcha. we'll see. I like the idea, though. Thank you. But I also um, think that we have to – let's add a piece in the brochure mm -hmm. saying – that once these gardens are installed, we will feature that garden with that business on our website. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. And, yes. Our, and our social media. So that'd go in the intro letter then. Yeah. Okay. And that we and will. And pricing we, also includes social media. Social media. And so what we'll do is that we will, you know, have it have a beautiful thank you to the sponsor of that garden, and we'll do like a little blurb about that person's business on our website and on our social media for a week. Love it. No, yeah. What do you mean a week? Like meaning like you'll run a, you'll run a story and it'll coincide to like a little article about everyone who's sponsored mm -hmm. a garden and a little blurb about who they are on our website. So, or like each week, forever. someone different would be sponsored like one time. Like for example, like if the first if the first garden is J J David Genovese's and it's that center one, then you're gonna be like, well, look at this beautiful garden he sponsored. This is, these are some of the projects he's working on. Thank you so much, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And then on our website, there's garden number six, sponsored by Den David Gendevesis. This are some of his things he's given back to the community. We thank you so much for being a DBC sponsor. And then that will just live on our website until the next iteration comes up. Right, and it would stay on the Instagram grid. So it'd be a one-time Right, it would, exactly. Okay. But what I'm saying is that... It'll be an announcement for each garden. Yes, it would be like an announcement. Yeah, it'll be an announcement for each garden. Yeah. And the thing is, is the benefit of doing that benefits the sponsors because it brings light, but then what it will do is that once you tag those people, it'll open up our world 
to them, to those people that follow them, and then mm. it'll just open. Yeah. yeah. So then yeah. more people will be yeah. interested in what we're doing, yeah. especially if that's what they're doing, and it'll just kind of like. Yep. Blend. Yeah. All right. I love it. That's great. Okay, I'll put that on the intro letter. Yeah, I think that's really important because they need to have public recognition that they have. Mm -hmm. I really like that. Okay, that's great. Are there um, any other PR opportunities that are kind of like low-hanging fruit like that? Like, does the town have any sort of a newsletter that we could... So the town about? newsletter, actually, I talked to Marley Hayes about it because I gave her a heads up that we were proceeding with this and hoping to make some progress soon. And she said, as soon as you have something, let me know. Now, um, she had mentioned, or someone mentioned to me, that uh, I think John, our new selectman is interested in actually shrinking that newsletter just a bit and keep it a little tighter. So I don't think we'd be able to feature businesses and on it. It's tricky as well, like on a government yeah, email. Exactly. It's like allowing advertising. Exactly. So I don't think it would go on there. But, but, but what you got me thinking about is the Chamber of Commerce does a great job of, of, promoting or mm -hmm. highlighting certain small new members and yeah. small businesses. There is a possibility we could create a newsletter going forward. I mean, we'd have to build a, an email yeah, distribution Yeah, I wouldn't commit to that, right? That's no, that's that the thing. Today. No, that's the <laughs> thing. I don't, I don't want to get into that, yeah. but there is I'll that have a sign. Yeah, have a sign. I only have a few more minutes. Um, I thought overall, from what's pending, looks great. There Again, at the bottom, it mentions the 17 gardens, just changing that number. Um, and then on addressing concerns, and right about that, that's a good point. I think if someone expresses interest, how you wrote, we need to have a, w a way on sharing what's been adopted already. I don't think it'd necessarily be like paperwork signed, but some sort of communication would be good of like, or I don't know, maybe it's too nebulous to be like, oh, so and so is interested in this one. Well, then a week later they're not. You know, I no, it doesn't get adopt. It doesn't get like I don't. It's like one of those things. It's not sold until it's sold. Yeah, like you just we just keep it open until it's contract signed. Um, okay, so I mean, except for the one that's already sold in part. So, when we, if we have these packets and and we all have a, a bundle of them, we're mm -hmm. all walking into businesses and, and talking to businesses and all that. If anybody gets a site a, a, a sheet signed, what's the next step there? We we probably email the whole group. FYI, I got one signed. We've got somebody wants. A gold spot, you know, a gold or a bronze. I guess we then have to. I don't. I don't quite know how that works. Well, so then we have to figure out where the funds get deposited into, because then the next thing we need to do is contact our man to start working on that garden. Not that aspect. We need to determine which garden they get. Like, what well, people don't they choose? Pick. Isn't that the point? They do pick. Yeah. I guess. But then, yes. So let's say someone's like Tokenic School is really important to me. I want yeah. that garden. Then do we just say, well, I think you can have it? But let me check. Well, it's not spoken for. Yeah. We'll say we'll get back to you within 48 hours. Okay. I'll get back to you within yeah. 48 hours. Let mm -hmm. me just make sure because we've got a lot of salespeople. Mm -hmm. And then we all, we all communicate and say, hey, I've got someone interested in Tokenique. Tokenique. And then we have them sign the paper and send in a check, and then it's theirs. And yes. then we take and it off the theirs. list. Yep. And, and then we'll, so we're going to need probably, which is easy to make, but an internal list of. Which gardens and the checklist gone or not gone? But maybe that goes onto our pricing sheet anyway. We can just have it be one more checkbox. Mm -hmm. And then what we can do is like we'll have to update our. We'll all have to be responsible for updating our um, our folders as the gardens sell. We'll just have to put little X's next to the gardens that have sold before we distribute the yeah. little folders. Yeah, that'll make it look good if you're yeah. just like, oh look. Yeah, we can't even keep it with pretty. I'm these sorry, things. just flying off the shelf. Exactly. Uh, okay, um, and then, all right. So that's the question there. Understanding concerns, handling objections. I don't know. I was just spitballing some ideas here. Um, and then closing. All right. So I think we're good for now. Mm -hmm. All right. Does anybody have any other business? Anything else to address? No, as long as you don't want me to plant those planters, because that's the only thing I want to talk to you guys about. Yeah, well, I would do it I now. I would do for it spring. now. Yeah, I'll do it because yeah, we he hasn't been hired yet. We're not giving them yet. any business yet. Okay. So yeah. that'll be new business. Is that what's going to plan? So, yeah. um, 
So I'm going to wait until the garden center gets pansies. Okay. So I'll probably have them planted by the end of the month. Okay. Um, I hate those ilex in there. They look just so stringy and awful, but I don't want to pull them because I also I don't know what your thoughts are on them. Just leave them for now and just plant around them. Uh, yeah, maybe if he's taking it over yeah, eventually just anyway. Play around. So he's, around doing the, he's going to do the two next to the door. Yeah. He's not going to do the few, like, around the circle. Well, why not? I don't know. I mean, that's eight. I think these are going to be, like, real deal. Big you ones. know. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, and so. that's really what, you know, is framing the door. So I, maybe you do want to swap those out with a nice boxwood that... Yeah, they need to be done yeah. nicely. So, so I would do. Can I swap them out with sure. boxwoods? Yeah. All right, fine. Do I have the budget to do that? I mean, boxwoods cost that size is fifty dollars. Yeah. yeah. I was gonna say yes. Like and you have the budget to do that. Okay. And I just need a little bit of manpower. I'm not that strong, but I can just ask Ed to have his dudes do it for me, because he said he's willing to do that. Or just send an email to this group. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Or I'd email yeah. him to get. Like give him a heads up of and just have them pull down. I mean, yeah, yeah, I'll have him do that then, cause he's so sweet. He'll get that done. Um, okay, I will get that done before the end of the month. I'm gonna put in boxwoods in all of the seven planters except for the big ones, the two by the door. Right, I'll yeah. put in hellebore. I'll just do like the arrangement I posted online. Mm -hmm. I know you guys liked that. I'll put those in the front door. Those will last until summer. And um, and then I'm just gonna just do boxwoods and pansies around the other seven. And it'll be beautiful and cost effective. Great, great, thank you. Everyone excited so about that? So fun, yes. All right. So fun. All right, anything else? Mm -mm. All right, do I have a motion to? Uh, Real, oh, sorry, yeah, okay. Yeah. So what's, I know I said like I could do my piece by 4-1. What, what's our plan for that? We just email Melissa and she'll, put something together and then send it out to us just to like proofread as a second set of eyes or what what are we doing between in terms of that between when we all re meet in a month? Oh yeah. So I think that whenever we have a document that's ready to go, we just email it to the group. Like I did with this. Like can you yeah, guys you just read to this? everybody and then I'll email, compile them all and print them. Email to the whole group so everybody has a chance to review it in their own time. And if they see any glaring, they can let know, and then... So, like, no, like, how you have the logo on the top of that. No logos, then, because, like, my logo may be this big, and someone no, else is that. it needs to all be consistent. So, I do think... Like, you'll pop the logos in, then, so they're all yeah, the same? it all needs to be consistent. So, I will put the... I will be... I, I am, like, the worst person to do this, but I'm going to figure it out. Just text and I will put it then. Text who? Us putting just text. Just put text in and I will figure it out. The formatting. And, That's right. Okay. It'll basically be a letter. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do it. You're going to do it. It's, well, you'll just. Never yeah. worked on a computer in my life. Been in sales oh. for like 20 years. All right. Well, you've been <laughs> in sales. <laughs> figure it out. Sold yeah. yourself. <laughs> um, all right. Well, if you run into trouble, I, I don't mind. Popping. And Sarah, I know yeah. you sometimes mm -hmm. use sheets. Is that okay? Like I only use Excel and Word. Is that gonna mash up okay? It should. Um, everything will be in PDF. They can only print it a PDF anyway. I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure at FedEx. So we'll have to export it. Okay. PDF well, that stage might. before it, when she's oh, you mean when sharing? formatting and making it all flow together. What I'll most likely do is send it all to South Africa, where my ex au pair lives, who's a graphic designer, <laughs> and she'll send it all back to my oh, beautiful. That's, that's so like, actually fun. Phenomenal. I love that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Literally, um, when I have a problem, I'm like, can you make this look pretty? And then like 28 hours later, I get it all back beautiful. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Love um, yeah, I can open Excel. So I, I just didn't know if it's an issue, if, if you're getting it in different um, um, just don't worry about it. I'm gonna figure it out. Okay. My son has a PC. I have a Mac. I can figure okay. it out. And if I can't figure it out, I'll put out an SOS that I just yeah. Can't just put out, out an SOS. You can't figure it out. My, I have a Mac, but I can convert anything to Excel or Word yeah. or PDF yeah. or whatever. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Well, like I do it. Like yeah. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Awesome guys. Yeah. Um, may I have a motion to adjourn? Adjourn. Adjourn. First, Melissa. Second, Alicia. All right. Thanks very much. Thank have you. Day. This is great. Yeah. Sorry, I missed last.